Welcome to episode 38 of Vampire Survivors like game in Unity. Knockback. Let's make it possible for our weapon to knock back. So when you strike the enemy, it will be pushed back. First, in the enemy script, in the fixed update, let's extract the movement process into separate method. and extract process stand into separate method. Ok, now let's introduce an ability to knock back the enemy. Add a new variable of type vector3 called knockback vector and knockback force. Create a new method called knockback where we will pass the force with which your enemy is being pushed back. Then in the move, we want to apply the knockback effect to the velocity by making new method. Where we will multiply knockback vector by knockback force. And let's decrease the force over time to make the force slowly fade away over time. So after some time the knockback will stop. Ok, now we want to make our weapon have a knockback effect. Add the declaration of the knockback to the iDamageable interface. Then in the weapon base, in the apply weapon effect, we want to apply the knockback effect to the enemy. To do so, we need to introduce knockback parameter into our items. Simply add knockback force to the item stats. Use this newly introduced variable to add knockback force. Yet besides the force we need to add the vector for our enemy being pushed. To calculate the vector we need to pass the position of the enemy as a parameter. Then calculate the direction towards the enemy. So just to clarify, here is a picture what we want to do. We have our attack from the player 
and the direction from which this attack is being delivered. And then enemy will receive a knockback vector with certain power and will be pushed into the same direction. Now let's test this. Let's make VIP push our enemies back. Check the weapon data of the VIP. Ok, this is weird. Why does our enemy is not getting pushed for some time? Oh, I know why. Because he is stunned. So let's change our calculation of the velocity. Let's extract it into separate method. And inside it calculate the velocity. And if the stunned value is not zero, multiply the velocity by zero, which will stop our enemy from moving. Good, but right now our knockback works weird. It knocks back enemies for far too long of a time. And we want to have more control over how our knockback behave. Some knockbacks push enemy far, but quick to fade away. And some knockbacks should be heavy. While not applying a lot of push force, it will be a long persistent effect. So to achieve this effect, we will separate knockback stat into two values, a force and a time weight. The higher the force, the further your enemy will fly. The higher the time, the longer he will be flying. So use time weight instead of the force in the fate calculation. And if our time weight run out, we do not apply our knockback force anymore. Change the knockback method, so add the time weight parameter. Remember to change how we apply force. Save it into the variable. Apply the changes in the iDamageable interface. and in the weapon base. Fix the error. And let's see.
Let's make bots move much slower to make testing easier. Why there is no consistency in the push? Oh my god, I forgot to do something important. This is our vector of attack, and we need to normalize this vector so it stay consistent. Because the further we are from the target, the longer this vector gets, and the longer this vector, the further our enemy will be pushed. But if we normalize it, the length of the vector will stay consistent, and the push of our enemies will stay consistent. So now we can make our knockback to be short but impactful, all long but heavy, which push enemies low. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to Stormbreaker9000 and the Salt Hajdu. With best regards, see you in the next episode.